bought myself a new project. I always wanted to tackle a Polaris 500. They're known for their cam issues and I ran across one that had that issue. So I've always wanted to tackle it. I've heard a lot about it. Pick this thing up cheap, figured for a hundred bucks I can throw a cam in. Um, went on YouTube, looked at a bunch of videos and haven't really seen anything pertaining to removing the camshaft. So I thought I'd shoot myself a quick little video. It's it actually looks pretty easy. So I'm going to show you what to look for, what to do, how to start out, um, and everything you need to remove. So um, the only thing you're going to need for this job is an 8 millimeter socket and 10 millimeter, and probably a little piece of wire. And of course your uh, cam kit. So I want to point something out quick. See that center lobe? That's how it's supposed to look. Um, they're notorious for the exhaust lobes wearing out. And I'll show you what I mean once I take this apart. So the first thing you want to do is take your rocker cover off. They're all 8mm screws. Pull that out. And then this is a bad design by Polaris, but what they did was they put the rockers and um, I'm sorry, the intake and exhaust valve rockers all on one shaft, and they're known to wear out. I don't know if you can see in here, but if you look down closely, my center lobe is worn. So, next thing you want to do is uh, remove a bunch of stuff. So, take your access cover off, 8mm bolts, take all the bolts off your um, starter rope um, cover, course pull all your plastics off first makes it a lot easier you want to remove your fuel lines and um, your antifreeze upper hose right there and the reason you want to do that is because we're gonna take that cover off once you take that access cover off that's how you slide the cam out so we're gonna remove that last Another thing you want to do is there is, you've got your chain, there is a chain tensioner right here. And we're going to pull those off pretty soon. But before we do that, and the most important thing you want to do before tearing this apart, is you want to make sure you're at top dead center. There's a couple different ways you can do that. If you look here, see those two marks up there? Sorry, my camera's shaky here. I'm trying to hold the light and hold the camera at the same time. So you want to make sure those marks are straight up or at an angle. And there's another way you can do that. There is a access hole here. If you've got this on, like I said, I gotta do this to hold the camera at the same time. And the flashlight in there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Okay, see that little white mark? Let me just pull the cover off, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so there are marks on the flywheel. Somebody already tried to adjust the timing. Um, this probably isn't going to zoom in too well, but there's a T there. So with your cover on and you're looking at the hole, there's a mark on the cover. You line that up with that T and you're at top dead center. When you're at top dead center, these marks up here should be straight up on top. Um, I like to go one step further. I like to grab a screwdriver, put it in the spark plug hole, and move this up and down just to make sure the, the piston is actually where it needs to be. I just kind of watch it. So, yep, I am at top dead center. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is remove the chain tensioner. If you don't remove that, um, this chain's going to be tight. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these, let me move the light, I'm sure it's probably right in your eyes. Move these bolts 
and I'm gonna use that wire that I showed you and I'm just gonna hang it up here because if that chain falls off down at the bottom then you gotta pull the flywheel off and readjust everything so I'm gonna try to do it the easy way so I'm gonna take the chain tensioner off I'm gonna take those three bolts off hang that up and then I'll take my 10 millimeter bolts or socket, sorry, 10 millimeter socket, go one, two, three, four, and that should just come off. Okay. All right, so I'll remove the bolts for the chain tensioner, and this is what it looks like. So, as that wears, it uh, moves in and out. There is a, it's like spring loaded. There's a way to adjust it, so when you install it, you push this back in, I think push that clip in. I'm not going to do that now. And next thing we're going to do is take the rockers off. All right, I pulled three of the bolts off just to speed things up a little bit. Now I get to see what the real damage looks like. So let's just come right off. Again, hard to do with one hand. Here we go. Okay. You can kind of see how much wear I got going on there. And if I can get a better shot. Cam lobe is pretty well gone. Here's a better shot under it uh, under a decent light. There is actually See how that's worn right here? There's a pretty good groove there. That's telling me the exhaust valves were not opening correctly. Okay, so I did have to move that elbow, the uh, coolant. Now I'm gonna take these, these off. That's for the access cover. And it's, once again, doing this with one hand. Hang on. Okay, so remove the cover. A little bit of oil in there. <coughs> and you kind of see how that is. So now before I remove the cam, I just want to show you the little trick I did. So I removed those three bolts and I hung a wire up here. I also scribed a mark on the chain to the timing mark just in case I lose it. But right now, that gear is off the cam, so I should be able to slide that out. And here she comes. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but that lobe's pretty well gone. I'll bring it over here to the light. Not much left there. Old one. New one. Okay, so you've seen how I've done that. So basically you do just the opposite of what I showed you, except for one thing. When you put the rockers back in, your rockers are installed, Top, uh, double check that you're still at top dead center. Check your valve clearances, that I have to research that, I don't know. Um, I'll look that up and find out. Um, but hey, I hope this helped you out because uh, I enjoyed uh, showing you guys. Uh, I know there isn't much out there, so I'm sure you guys have been looking too. Um, hit the like button if you uh, like my video, and please subscribe. I've got a bunch of other Polaris fixes. I uh, just do this as a hobby, make a little extra money, and hopefully one day maybe I'll make a little money off of YouTube doing this. But um, So, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. One last thing, when you install this, your, this is your spring tensioner, uh, for your chain tensioner, you have to take that bolt out the top. See there's a uh, spring in there, and you can push this in, and it'll stay in. There's a little lever right here. Press on that, pushes in. If you don't do that, when you put this back in, it's gonna be super tight and you're gonna wreck your chain. So, 
So take that bolt out with the spring in it, install this back in the engine, bolt it down, put your spring and your bolt back in, and it should automatically tension.